Hey everybody, it's Mike Stogsdale here with the Outdoor Gear Report. This week we're talking about ticks and tick bites. You know, two diseases that can come from tick bites is ehrlichiosis and Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever. Nasty diseases. You might be out in the woods bird watching, maybe turkey hunting, scouting for turkeys, mushroom hunting, or maybe scouting for deer season. But when you come home, you make sure you get checked for ticks, okay? Here's one thing that you need to do. Here's a myth. If you get a tick on you, people say, burn it with a match. Or other people say, take a Q-tip, put some Icy Hot on it, and lather his body up with Icy Hot. Don't do it. Ticks breathe through their skin. If they can't breathe, they're going to spit toxins into your body. That's a bad thing. Here's what happens. After that tick bite, watch for your symptoms. If there is a, an incubation period between seven and 14 days, here's the symptoms that can happen. Nausea, fever, chills, muscle aches, diarrhea, none of that you want, or just a possible general ill feeling. What's the complications that can come from that? Well, it is uh, uh, failure of your kidneys, uh, liver failure, and the worst thing of all is death. It can also affect other organs in your body. Three years ago, I got bit by a tick. I forgot to tuck my shirt into my pants. I stepped out of the truck, tall grass. My wife found a tick on me later that night. I had her lather it up on with the icy hot and he spit toxins right back into my body. That is what happened to me. I almost died. I had to get to the doctor. They gave me a prescription for dioxycycline it was 28 pills, two pills for 14 days. Uh, I did come out of it. But with that, I found out that the severe violent chills, the nausea, the my urine looked like it was uh, walnut varnish. That is not a good thing, guys. When you're taking a leak and you look down and there's walnut varnish coming out of your, not good, okay? So if you find out that you've been bit by a tick, you mark it on the calendar. You make sure that those symptoms, if any of those symptoms come up, I felt like I had a two by four in my neck. I was popping eight pain pills a, a day. If you have any of those classic symptoms come up, you get to the doctor right now and that will help you to prevent from further damage to your body. Okay, now what is a, the preventive, preventative measures that you can take? Well, first of all, like I mentioned, tuck your shirt into your pants. Here's the other one. Permethrin, or otherwise known as Permanone. The night before you go out in the woods, you take your Permanone or your Permethrin and you spray it all over the clothing that you're going to wear. That will help you to prevent by, from get, getting bit by a tick. Now, it's odorless. So if you feel like you wanna wear it in your early bow season, it's perfectly fine. It'll also go through a few washings, so uh, you don't need to spray it down every time you uh, pull it out of the dryer. So, hey, this is Mike Stogsdale for the Outdoor Gear Report. I hope that these have helped you. Keep in mind the classic symptoms, and the next time that you go out in the field, you'll feel secure and confident that you will not get bit by a tick. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Till next time, we'll see you in the field tick-free.